Hello everyone, it is Christine here and I am back for Thrifty Thursday. Now I wasn't planning a Thrifty Thursday this week, but I have happened to end up with an impromptu Thrifty Thursday video to make because I was driving home from the dog park with Travis the dog in the back seat and I was part way up the road towards the house and I saw on someone's nature strip that they had put out a whole lot of household items for what we call hard rubbish collection here in Australia. And hard rubbish collection is basically putting people putting out items they no longer want on their nature strip and some councils um, run a service where they do it at a set time and go and pick up everyone's rubbish. Other councils run a booking service where a few times a year you can book for your unwanted items to be collected. Now I know some councils try and um, divert items from landfill but a lot of what's collected off um, nature strips from hard rubbish collections ends up going to landfill and you know how I'm not a fan of things going to landfill and if they are able to be repurposed particularly fabrics and things like that that I get from the reverse art truck I am all for that. Now on this occasion I spotted a set of perfectly good looking bookshelves um, that look like they might be Ikea bookshelves and I've actually been um, wanting to get some more bookshelves because I just need a few more in my craft room um, or in the room adjoining my craft room to keep some of my crafty books in. And so I pulled the car over, had a look at the bookshelves and I thought, oh yeah, they're, they're good. Now the funny thing was, Travis was in the back seat and I have a cover for the car in the boot of the car so I couldn't put them in there. So I tried to squeeze them into the, the front seat, that was not going to work. So I had to ask poor Travis to um, jump out of the back seat, jump into the front seat um, so I could put the, the bookshelves in the back seat. And it's funny because Travis used to be a trainee guide dog puppy and he's learned to um, when he first was a puppy um, and while he's in his guide dog um, puppy training he rides in the footwell of the front seat so he immediately even though he's huge now he just got in there and happily um, sat there while I loaded the the bookshelves into the the back seat of the car but as I was doing that I spotted that they had um, two plastic containers that again looked in very good condition no cracks just a bit dusty that's all that was that that's all that was um, wrong with them um, so there was this one and then there was also a red one like a, a tool case and I actually opened up um, the red one and spotted it had um, various little tools and screws and things and I thought oh that'll be handy for Alex because he's got his little um, workshop and then I didn't actually open this one up I just lifted it up and thought oh it's probably got some more tools and things in it I'll just um, take that home and Alex can have a look through it and if we don't want the containers we can always um, yeah, drop them off to the reverse art truck or otherwise because they're they're probably perfectly useful but I thought even if Alex doesn't want the containers I'll probably um, use them in my sewing room so I got home and um, opened up yeah the the red one and that had tools in it but then when I opened up this one I discovered it was full of fabulous sewing supplies so it's someone's um, purpose-made sewing kit now it is a little bit um, dusty inside it will need a little bit of a cleanup I haven't actually been through it I thought I would go through it with you um, and have a look what is actually in it because it's got a tray that lifts out with stuff underneath it so let's let's have a look what you find in someone else's sewing kit so I've got a a zip that's never been used it's even Australian made which is rare to get these days this is handy I've seen others wearing those little um, pin cushions that you have on your have on your wrist it's got lots of pins in it looks like it's just a little homemade um, pin cushion in fact I think it's got the people put um, is it the cork or no walnut shells because it feels like it's got something shell sort of ground shell like and that's meant to keep your um, needles sharp as it goes in so that could be quite quite handy and then a little pouch of threads and I won't say no to those and I should really I'm going to keep this one out because I really need to start using a needle threader for those times I'm I'm struggling with it but those ones can just go into my little um, thread caddy Pair of scissors these ones look like they have seen better days so um, I'm it says antimicrobial I'll give them a it might just be um, dirt on them but I'll put those aside to give them a clean 
another cute little um, pin cushion with some nice some of these nice pins on it an entire packet of pins which despite my not loving pins um, I think they are actually yeah they're nice nice colorful ones that's not going to fit, fit in there is it no keep that out for now but I'll probably condense the pins off this little homemade pad into into there some scissors let's see how well they how well they cut mm, nice cut they've actually just been used for fabric I think now I don't have one of these in my collection but I think it's used for transferring patterns um, with the carbon paper so you run it along the pattern line and then a mixed bag of little studs and buttons and safety pins a little um, thimble to add to my thimble collection pop that over there some velcro oh very strong I was thinking this was a um, a pin cushion but it's actually a measuring tape ah, and that's the retractable bit on the measuring tape <laughs> how clever and they put a little like a little marker on it what's it say on it Avon products so maybe it was a freebie with um, sort of Avon goodies and then we have one of those um, plastic plastic needles a measuring tape that's never been used a dressmaker pencil from Japan is this a seam seam ripper I think and there's another one and another one I think these ones have seen better days they seem to be they seem to have been broken but this one looks new can open it there we go looks a bit like a diabolical weapon so probably if there's some broken ones I'll get rid of get rid of those yeah those ones look like they've been been broken some assorted needles there's a needle with tarnish on it that I'll probably get rid of this one so I'll put that in my bin carefully and then we've got some tailors chalk made in Japan Oops, if I don't um, break the tailor's chalk, chalk, chalk by dropping it around I'll probably just break that piece then by being rough with it or no maybe it's not because it's actually two pieces there I don't think I broke it in that process someone's already yeah taken taken pieces off so that'll be handy because I don't actually have any tailor's chalk got the top of a zipper but I don't think I'm going to need that some more nice pins in a nice little pinwheel some wire now I do actually need some wire for one of my Christmas craft projects which I'll try and do next up as a separate video and then a bag of mixed goodies what's in here we have some beads we have some little cherubs we have some fishing wire type stuff and we have some gold elastic -y thread so I'll unite those with their correct parts in my um, craft room and then we've got some old sewing machine bits and pieces so I will put those there Travis has heard someone at the door or something Oops, and there's another dressmaker pencil in there so I'll give that a good a good wash the other one I just gave a, a wash in the shower and then we have a bulk lot of velcro Alex was actually just the other day saying he'd like some some velcro for I don't know what he wants it for but doing something so I might have to share this with him and then this one looks like it's a velcro oh he was probably wanting it actually for the um the door it's like a fly mesh door that we have on the door that goes out to our backyard so that Travis can come in and out without flies and other things coming in so it might have been for uh, fixing that then we've got some patterns so we've got butterick unlimited expressions pattern looks like there's a lot of oh but, ooh, looks like there is actual <laughs> fabric inside here I was thinking it's very thick for a pattern I was wondering if it was a few patterns all stuffed together so we've got 
It's almost like a, a sort of taffeta, maybe. Just the basic black. And we've got another new look pattern. Not super, super old, I don't think. But probably actually, maybe like from the 90s, 80s. And then Simplicity to our skirt. Again, yeah, probably actually the 80s. 80s, 90s. Yeah. But it's funny, some of those styles have come and gone again since, haven't they? And then some uh, corduroy in black. And I think cord's quite good in that it doesn't really fray. So even for some of the little, when you need a, yeah, a little backing for something, um, it could be quite good. Almost use it like a, like a felt. And then some, oh, it looks like it's maybe from an old piece of clothing. An old dress, I'm guessing. Unless it was, oh, ouch, pin. No, I think it was something that was being made and I have just been stabbed. So take care, Christine. Um, I think it's probably something that someone was actually creating. But it never quite made it to being um, an outfit. It's actually quite pretty, pretty fabric. Pity I'm not a dressmaker and pretty my dressmaker seamstress Nana is not here anymore. But it probably wouldn't be my size anyway. But that is, yeah, very sweet fabric. So I will probably turn it into slow stitchy fabric instead. Oh, and there's some more tarnished needles in there. So I'll probably get rid of those ones. And then we've got some multicolored fabric. Hoffman International Fabric Screen Print. It's almost like Tetris. And then more of that fabric. It's quite a decent quantity, really. This is the back side of it. But nice and colorful. Sure, I'll find a use for that. And then a big amount of this nice cream based floral. Feels like a cotton. Don't know if it's got the selvage on it to see. No, I don't think I can see a name on that. And then we have a folder with looks like quilting, construction of magic pillow quilt comforter. A little animal style quilt and 22nd of August 7.30 to 9.30 $20 Quillo so maybe that was a little project or a class that someone was going to be going to be doing have a look what else is in here Oops. We've got French seam with instructions on how to do it. I guess this is machine sewing. Ah, there you go. Okay, so this is how you make your little your little zip. So maybe they were learning how to do the, the French seam for the, um, the dress that they were putting the zip into. someone's name on it so maybe it's a school maybe it's actually a little school um, sewing kit maybe it's someone who's finished school and they've had enough of sewing and that's it I don't know although those passions they did look older or maybe it was actually from a time that someone was in in school who knows and then we have flat felled seam So this is a flat felled seam. I wonder if it's a flat felled or flat fold. I don't know. But yeah, there's a little little seam put in there. So someone's little little sample book. So I'll probably repurpose, recycle um, the folder. Keep the little bits of fabric and, and reuse those. And that, so that's this, which will just need a nice little clean out. And then it can become... Um, a little sewing kit because I think it will fit my regular cottons in it so that would be great if I'm working on a little project 
Um, I can just put in the yeah the cottons that I'm using and the bits and pieces. I could even put my little embellishments um, in here, and yeah, even put the bits of the project down below. So I think I will definitely um, keep this. It's a trend brand. So that's that one, and then as I mentioned, I got the other one, which had um, various tools and screws and sorts of things in it. And so it's just a red crate that looks more like a, a toolkit. It's got this removable tray and then a nice um, yeah, section in the bottom of it. But again, I think that's um, potentially going to be quite um, useful for my crafting. I was toying and it may become a project for the new year of even um, covering it in fabric to just make it a bit more bit less sort of glary in the craft room not that I mind um, reds and it may be a bit hard to do the covering I'm not sure um, but it's an idea or I might even yeah I'll have a think I might even decoupage it with um, I've got lots of old patterns so that could be fun as well so a project for the new year um, but I think, yeah, I'll keep these. Alex said he had enough um, in his uh, tool room, so he's going to keep the various screws and other bits and pieces out of it. Um, but he said I was welcome to, to both containers. So hopefully you'd like seeing that. Let me know if you have hard rubbish collection in your area. Um, let me know if you've ever had any good finds from it. And I hope you enjoyed that little um, rifle through with me. Thanks, everyone. Bye.